Okay, so let's talk about volume. You can uh, get some more detail and examples of these problems uh, on page 700 and 701. That is the uh, volume of prisms section. And so first of all, we need to understand what is volume. It's the amount of space inside an object. That's how we think of it. But it's actually the amount of space the object takes up. So I drew a poorly drawn drawing of my figures here with the 3D blocks that make up the inside of that figure, okay? So, the one thing that we need to know about volume is that the answers are always in cubic units. Like I showed in the picture, they are small little cubes that go inside the object, okay? So, uh, all of your answers should be in cubic units or units cubed, okay? So let's do an example. This is a rectangular prism. Uh, it's a rectangle, and uh, so and it has been struck. It has been made into a three-dimensional figure, so that makes it a rectangular prism. So my formula again, we're dealing with our formulas. We have length times width times height. So if we have our length times width times height, we need to multiply the three together. It does not necessarily matter which order we order them. Uh, and multiply them together because of the commutative property of multiplication. Whatever property or whatever order we multiply them in, we still will get the same answer. So I'm just going to go ahead and identify and we'll, make, we'll just label. This is height, this is width, and this is length. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug those numbers in. 9 times 7 times 5. Okay. So 9 times 7 times 5 is 315. Well, I didn't have units on this example, so I'm going to put units cubed, okay? Or I could spell out and put units cubed, all right? All right, units cubed. So that's saying that there are 315 little units that go inside of this 3D figure, okay? As I've said before, don't pay attention to my poor drawing. Now, we've got another example. We've got triangular prisms, okay? So, a triangular prism is an extended out triangle. So, it looks something like this. And I get my drawing. Okay, you can see a really good drawing of one on page 701. Okay, so we're looking at page 700 and 701. Alright, so on 701, it tells us the volume of a triangular prism. Triangular prism. Okay, so the volume of a triangular prism. So the it gives us this formula, V equals a big A, big B times H. Well, we now know that the big B represents the area of the base. Now, we know that triangles have a different formula for area than length times width times height because they don't have the same type of, it's not the same type of shape. So, we need to figure out how do we find the area of a triangle? Well, the area of a triangle equals one-half base times height. So, essentially our formula looks like this. Volume equals one-half base times height of the base times height of the prism. Now, I'll show you what that looks like. All right. So. If I have my figure, and it looks something like this, if I have uh, 6, and I have 8, and then I have 9 up here, okay? 6, 8, and 9. We will take the area of the base, which is down here, this is the area of the base, okay? So that's the flat bottom part. So we take 6 times 8, 
times one half. Okay, so six times eight, 48. So one half of 48 gives me 24. Okay, then we times this by the height of the prism, which is nine. Okay, so H equals height ba uh, base of triangle, and your eight equals the height of triangle. Okay, so it's pretty much knowing which which number represents what. So once I multiply one half of six times eight, which was uh, 48, one half of that is 24. 24 times nine is 216, okay? Equals 216. 216 uh, units cubed, okay? So the example in the book uses the same numbers, but a different looking figure. Their figure looks like this, okay? So then they drew it, it just looks different, all right? so. Um, and so they have a triangular prism that way. It's pretty much just the difference of how it's laid out. Okay, so this top one is just basically on its end and this one's on its side. All right, so that is the area of a rectangular prism and triangular prism.